Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we have Motor Max Spacecraft. Spacecraft. Playset. Playset. Yep, we got the Motor Max Spacecraft Playset. Unfortunately, this is not the one that we actually wanted. This came from Indonesia. Unfortunately, they yeah, actually, I was gonna get the other set, but um, they sent me the wrong one, so but that's okay anyway. But since this is the uh, they has got the space shuttle in it, it's got the Venture Star SR 71. But the original set that I really wanted to get my hands on, it had a bigger, a far bigger space shuttle, it had the uh, Saturn 1 V booster, but I'll probably get it next time. So, in the meantime, we're gonna be taking a pretty good look at this one this is actually pretty new and I've not actually heard of this one before I mean I've heard of Motor Max but um, never actually saw this particular set before this this <clears throat> kind of look like those airplane set play sets with the map and then they have the plane and then they have these type of accessories hmm yeah I, I don't know if, if there's a map inside here maybe that's just the inside of the box looks like there's a moon inside there there's a background of the moon yeah, similar. So there's a book, there's a background, the moon inside. So we've got some accessories in here. Okay, we've got the American flag. We've got a couple of uh, traffic cones. We've got a United States um, signboard right there. And then we've got a couple of dangerous signs, I think. I'm not really sure what those are for. But uh, the main focus is on the four vehicles that we have here. Now, I don't know what the heck that is. That, that kind of looks like something from Star Trek. What is um, that? Eh, I don't know. Like Star Trek, Trek or some some alien UFO thingy ship. It says the X-112. It's got a NASA logo right there. But um, I'm not really sure. But not really sure about that one. Could be a fantasy um, space plane of sorts that, you know... I'm not really sure, but let me know in down in the comments below, guys, what that thing is. But uh, these three, I pretty much know. Okay, we got the space shuttle, of course, and then we have the SR-71 Blackbird, and it has a small little rocket or a space plane or something, piggyback, right there. And then there's the Venture Star. This is a concept space plane that was developed in the late 1990s. I think it was the year 1999 or 2000 that they designed this and but it was on the drawing board But they never actually got it off the ground or they even built it I think they actually built a mock-up engine and they even tested it But um, they never actually built the thing because since you know The US you know NASA's already got the space shuttle so they could focus on the space shuttle and this wasn't it was an alternate shuttle but nonetheless, we actually got it. I mean, this is the first time we have the uh, Venture Star. That's going to be very interesting. And we have uh, an SR-71 Blackbird with that little space plane thingy. So, all right, let's just check the back of the box. So there we go. This is what we got exactly in the front of the box. So we've got die cast metal and plastic parts. It is very heavy, though. It's got some pretty good weight to it. The SR-71 cool. SR <clears throat> SR kind of reminds me of the SR-71 I have. Yeah, you got a tiny little SR-71. But this is a nice box though. It's still a very nice looking packaging. Like the space shuttle down here. The space background. The space logo up here with the space shuttle flying right across. And of course, the silhouette of Earth down here. This is And the Saturn right there. This is actually pretty cool. And this That's is, a blue sun. Uh, there's a blue sun. Looks like, yeah, probably the moon, I think. I'm not really sure. That probably is another sun. And this is actually 1 in 144 scale. That says 1 in 144. That's an extra sticker they add on there. And it's ages 3 plus and above. So, without further ado, let's crack right in. Alright, so let's open it. Open it. Okay. So there's the background. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no. Bruh. Oh, there we go. It drifted. Yeah. Okay, that's the X33. X33. The Adventure Star. And uh, up next, we're gonna grab out the uh, UFO. Yeah, this thing. UFO looking spaceship X112. X112. There we go. Oh. Why does X112? It's got a little wheel. Why does the X1? Why does the X1? One, two, have a really big window. Who needs a big I'm window? I'm not really sure. Who needs a really big window for? Yeah. 
not really many sure about that one. The I know, I'm like, not sure. Floor, is that like a two, a number two cockpit? And the space shuttle. Yep, I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure why they need big windows on that thing. But will, but it's really heavy though. So we got the space shuttle. Okay, and here's our flag. Now you grab that. The cone. Okay, the cone. There you go. Just put it all out. Just lay it all out. All right. Okay. Yeah, and I've got the last of the accessories. These danger sign thingies. The danger signs okay. look like those things in the like farm that. that cover up the animals. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Those okay. wooden things covering. So we got all the four space planes out, including the accessories. So now let's take a look at them one by one. So which is the first one we're gonna be take checking out, Ben? I feel like we should probably check out the space shuttle. Space shuttle. All right, so we're gonna check out the space shuttle first. Oh, but so, I wonder what's inside of it. I saw like yeah. shiny gold so before, or something. Diamond. Okay. All right. It looks so, like diamonds in there. They look reflective. Um. Yeah. There's something shiny inside. They're not diamonds. There's probably something uh chrome painted parts inside there. Is probably the laboratory. But before we, but before we check out the the bay doors inside, let's just check out the space shuttle itself. Okay. So, now there is no brand under the space shuttle. It just says A207 NASA Space Shuttle made in China. So there's no Motormax brand or sorts printed, which I was expecting, but they don't. So we got plastic wheels. This is a metal chassis right here. Yeah, the chassis is metal. This piece here that connects to the wheels, that's, that's metal. The front wheels are plastic. They kind of loose a little. Okay, it's a it's a it's a nice diecast plastic space shuttle. So the uh, this is all plastic, by the way. The black part, the the heat shield part, is all um, plastic. The white parts are diecast metal, except for the bay doors. The bay doors are plastic. Okay, so that's all and uh, that's all printed paint. Okay. Very nice thrusters. The RCS thrusters are all nicely done inside there. We've got United States. There's the flag. I feel like they're just a little way too spaced out. I think they could have made it more, you know, inside, but it's a little wonky though. And the name of the space shuttle is Enterprise. Can you believe it? It's Enterprise. But unfortunately, it's got the... Uh, they could have at least give Endeavor or Discovery Atlantis, you know, but why Enterprise? I mean... Uh, it would be nice if it's Enterprise, but they got the wrong. It's got the wrong NASA logo on this. This is the meatball logo from the later, from the later shuttles. You know, this is not the classic uh, NASA logo or the USA. You know that that this, that the uh, Enterprise carried, but that's okay anyway. So it's a nice small size space shuttle. At least all this is painted. That's diecast, by the way. Plastic engines. Very very nice. So. Let's, let's open up the bay doors. What's the bay door look like inside? Yeah, What's all that? It's a plastic bay door. So oh, it's plastic. It's, yeah, it's it, plastic. Yeah, it's it plastic looks plastic, bay plastic door. in there. So we're going to have to be very careful to how we're going to open There's this. something in there. Yeah. It looks like a plastic <clears throat> thing that goes okay. up. Okay. Wow. Yeah, wow. This that's... is really tight. Okay. Oh. I got one of the doors open. Oh, it's metal. Uh, it's, it, it's, it it's, it's, metal. It's, not, it's not metal. It's actually chrome. So I'm not sure. Chrome wow, plastic. this is really, really tight. That is yeah, this is metal. really tight. Oh okay, What's there that? we go. What is that? That, let's just clear this up. Okay, that is plastic chrome painted laboratory. I think that's one of the interior. That's one of the uh, the laboratory, I think, inside the space shuttle. Enterprise doesn't, I don't think Enterprise has No, the that. Enterprise doesn't have this. The Enterprise was a... It was a test space shuttle. It was, you know, a prototype. It wasn't built to go to space. It was built only for atmospheric test runs. You know, it's strapped to the back of a 747 and then it and then it will separate and glide back to the earth. That's all it ever did. This this Okay. This space shuttle. Interesting. This space shuttle could have been this space shuttle in the back room. Yeah, there, there's the other space shuttle as well. That's this the space Atlantis shuttle's... space shuttle. Yep, this one that's is right. the correct, the, has the correct logos for this one, but fortunately they put Enterprise instead of Atlantis. Yeah, this, but it's okay. So this is sort of a what if, you know, 
pretend that Enterprise did go to space, so that's why I suppose they put Enterprise here. So this is the what if space shuttle Enterprise. Okay, so now let's go to the next one. The next plane we're gonna be covering, the next space plane we're gonna be covering, I think, which one should we go first? I think let's just save the best one for last. So let's just go for the X112, shall we? This is a UFO looking thing. I really don't There's know. There's something inside the wing. Inside those holes in the yeah. wing. They look like engines. Yeah. It could the, be. Yeah, there are little trenches in here, like but that's all molded. I feel like this thing shouldn't be a space plane. This thing might well, have just gone up in the atmosphere. It might have well, just. Because it looks hmm. like an airplane. Yeah, it does it's, look like an airplane. It doesn't even look like Kingo Space because it okay. doesn't look like anything like this. True, that's true, that's absolutely true. Okay, so it does say X112 at the bottom here. X122, sorry, X122. So it's the X122 space plane thing. It's got the US Air Force roundel though. Okay, it's got the NASA logo, even though the, the, the logo doesn't actually look very NASA-ish. It's a little off. So, I don't know, it looks like something out of a science fiction movie. I don't know. It's got a metal wheel at the front. Okay, it's got the wheels at the back. It's pretty heavy though. Okay, that's that's plastic. This part here is plastic. The rest on top here is die cast metal. This, yep. This look like this look like something from a movie because why do they yeah. need a really big cockpit yeah, for? True. Is there like two cockpits like four people? You like know what? It's an upstairs cockpit. You know what this thing looks like? It looks like the it looks like the it looks like the Martian war machine from the War of the Worlds, from the classic 1950s War of the Worlds. It does have that same, very similar silhouette, even though it has a, a delta wing shape. But just imagine it, it kind of looks like one. But this is very strange. I don't know about this. I don't know why they include this in this set. I don't know, but let me down in the comments below, guys, for any of this, you who knows this space plane, X112. This is literally right. something from War of the Worlds, but they just put NASA logos on it, and then they put this circle yep. and put this big carpet on it to make it not look same as War of the Worlds. Yeah, this big round cockpit thing looks very, very strange, so I'm not sure. But there is just one little error I found out. It says X112 here. And then the bottom here is molded X122. So I'm not X122. sure. Yeah, so I'm not really sure which is correct. This one or that one. So you guys tell me. I think so, you mistakenly yep. put one yep. instead of two. That's right. They probably mistakenly put a one, one, two. All right. Instead of the one. Okay, Ben, so let's get on to the next one. So the next plane we're going to be covering, the next space plane we're going to be covering is the X-33. This is the Lockheed Martin Venture Star. And there we got Skunk Works. We've got the Skunk Works logo on the tail. Very, very nice. And the plastic, by the way. Die-cast body. Okay, the wings are die-cast. These wings are die-cast. That's pretty good. And these parts here are die-cast. The engine at the back is... The engine at the back here is plastic. Plastic. Alright, okay. So we got a plastic bottom for the heat shield, I think. And then we got the wheels. Ah, there, that, that says Motormax. There, that's Motormax. So this is an official Motormax toy. Now these were all packaged together, so even though it doesn't say Motormax on it, so what do you think? It's probably taken from other brands and then they put it into this box. But this is an official Motormax toy. It says US on it. Okay. So we've got some pretty nice printing I do, there. I did see this thing before. Yeah, maybe you might have. This. I might have I've seen this thing before. Yeah. So, like I said, this is actually a, a proposed space plane that NASA, you know, wanted to build. Back in the late 1990s, but it never actually been, it was never built. They just designed it, you know, it was on the drawing board. They built one of the engines though and tested it, but in the end, you know, due to high costs and the program was 
scrapped. So in the end, they just kept the space shuttle flying for a few for many more years to because come. Because it kind of looked like the space shuttle. Well, yes, it, it is. It is. A, it's supposed to be a replacement, I think, for the space shuttle. It's supposed to be a future space shuttle, but, but this in the end, it, it never got off the ground. But all we got, we got the toy version of it. It's close. I think it looked pretty much like that. If I'm not mistaken, in my books, it looked pretty much like this. It was white. It had the black, and it had these markings on it. It's got Lockheed Martin as well. It looked it looks like the space shuttle if you put two space shuttles together and put bigger wings on this side and put two wings like yeah they this put is two a space this shuttles. is a this is a more of a beefed up space shuttle and it and looks they put more two space shuttles together, yeah kick off this two space shuttle wings yep. and then they just put extra yep, two that's right ben dinner wings yep that's right so up next final so i'm saving the last one the very good one for the last and that will be the sr-71 blackbird my all-time favorite plane this is a very very nice looking blackbird now this is whoa it's all black very shiny glossy painted all right it's very very nice but i wonder what that thing is on the back yeah i'm when wondering that the same thing when too. i look at the engines they kind of look like extra engines. They kind of look like a third engine. It's not an engine. Kind of. It's because not. Because when I see the hole at the back, the circle, round back look, part of that. Kind of this thing, third. I think this is a real thing. It's probably a test subject, a test, a, a space plane of sorts that they were going to test at the time. I'm just not sure what it is. Okay. It's all painted silver, by the way. That's all. I'm not sure. Is this metal or plastic? Hard to tell. Could be plastic or metal. I may be wrong. It looks very shiny though. Okay, it says US Air Force. That's a print. And then these Air Force roundels. These are stickers, by the way. These are stickers. So we've got stickered Air Force roundels, but we've got United States Air Force uh, markings that's printed. We've got skunk works right there on the tail. Let me close. Yeah, that's that looks like a. It's supposed to be a it's supposed to be a skunk. Looks like a skunk. Yeah, on my on on my toy, I've got a slight boo boo on the uh, on one of the tail here. It's a little paint scratch right there. It says one seven nine five one. Could be based off a of real actual SR seventy one that actually flew. Okay, so we've got wheels here, plastic wheels. Pretty cool. No motor max printed on the bottom so that's a very nice looking space plane it's all black though so that's pretty cool and as for the accessories it's not pretty basic not much going on here just two orange cones and a american flag you know a plastic american flag with and then the united sticker. states with that flag and then they have the yeah. danger signs that kind of look like the farm yep boards. that's right yeah this is all stickers by the way this is all just little accessories nothing in the back here yeah, this is something that, you know, for you to play with, Ben. So you can, like, have a car or something. So you can do a little space scene with this. That's pretty cool. And, of course, the danger sign. Nothing interesting with this one. It's just two pieces of plastic, you know, board thingy. Okay, no. As I was said in the beginning of the video, this wasn't the set I was originally going to be doing. But, nonetheless, I decided to go right ahead and do a review of it anyway. So, I kinda, until I get the other set and I'll I put all this side by side. I so there you have it guys, hope you liked today's video. And make sure to subscribe to the MG Family channel. That's right, and like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again next time guys. So have a great day ahead. Cheers guys.